Good morning, everybody. My name is Daniel Pello, coming to you here from First Presbyterian Church in Covington, Virginia. Starting out this Thursday in this third week of Lent with a reading by Henry Nowen. Seek conversion. Jesus challenges us to move in a totally new direction. He asks for conversion. That is to say, a complete interior turnaround, a transformation. Everything within us seems set against this way. And yet, every time we take a few steps along it, we become aware that something new is happening within us and experience a desire to try yet another step forward. And so, step by step, we come closer to the heart of God, which is the heart of an undiscriminating, always forgiving, inexhaustible love. And now for our scripture reading, Matthew chapter 5, verse 1 through 2, 7, chapter 7, verse 13 through 14, and verse 21 through 23. When Jesus saw the crowds, he went up the mountain, and after he sat down, his disciples came to him. Then he began to speak, and taught them, saying, Enter through the narrow gate, for the gate is wide, and the road is easy that leads to destruction. And there are many who take it, for the gate is narrow, and the road is hard that leads to life, and there are few who find it. Not everyone who says to me, Lord, Lord, will enter the kingdom of heaven but only the one who does the will of my Father in heaven. On that day many will say to me, Lord, Lord, do we not prophesy in your name and cast out demons in your name and do many deeds of power in your name? Then I'll declare to them, I never knew you. Go away from me, you evildoers. That is our scripture reading this morning. If you will please join me in a time now in prayer together let us now pray O oh God of the narrow gate we are often a creature of convenience convenience foods convenient access to roads convenient TV remote controls convenient drive up windows and convenience stores. We know that these and many other aspects of modern life make it easier for us. Even still, we want things and people to change and adapt for our benefit. Help us to remember that the hard and steep way is the path to your house and that we must practice give and take rather than the take and take of a world revolving around our needs and wants and our pleasures and our way. Amen. And now for Lent in action today. Make a list of life's conveniences and fast from one or several of them for a, a day. For example, watching TV without using the remote control or walking up the steps instead of taking the elevator. And that is our Lent in action this morning. Hope you all have a great Thursday today. I hope to see you all here tomorrow morning as well. Have a great day today.